श्रीमते रामन जाए मां there are social beings living in the year of science and technological advancement and we are a bundle of instincts which are highly organized categorized and configured at a high tech level in the advance of technology and we are having a perennial thought process of developing ourselves to such a level by which we experience perennial benefits this is based on competition expansion imitation of other hand sources etc the basic force that is behind each and everybody is the instinctive drive <coughs> the instinctive drive here means a person's interest unquenchable desire in promoting himself in expanding his resources in getting into unlimitedness of mobile phones etc Stop your mobile, but it is creating intervention in the public data system. Please help us. base of security as well as the desire to promote oneself that makes us to untiringly be present in a process engaged in a process to promote ourselves and whenever a person is interested in promoting one's own self he may not be having a compound structure of promotion what is compound structure of promotion any person being interested or very much committed towards his own development either infrastructural development or what we call innate development resources that come from the inner resources repository whatever it is that consists of different components and it may not be available with all people due to which that creates two major possibilities in the society one is isolation and insufficiency and second is collaborative function as all resources are not available to people it has created a deep divide and cleavage in the society as the resources are isolated people are also isolated are in sensible people in knowledgeable people in active and dynamic personalities the same thing has resulted in collective functioning collective survival collaboration joint venture mutuality functional sharing federal march all of these various concepts have come because of the limitations of these resources available with us what are the resources first interest to develop resources or interest to augment and potentialize your caliber and status it is with everybody nobody can be in this world unless the person is affected with a paralysis or coma or a person is dead or totally insane in nature or a person is totally renounced from the worldly order even such people are having more craze and desire to develop their resources nowadays so it is very difficult to imagine a person without having a deep desire to augment the resources so the first component that is required is a deep burning tireless reservoir of zeal the second is the zeal should instigate the person to go for gaining knowledge about the resources third thing is to fix a target of what is the product what is the personality what is the personal and what is the team what is the plan what is the project what is the proposal what is the purpose of our activity and what are the procedural methodologies by which we can reach them the third fourth thing is in action fifth thing is maintenance or managerial components what we call so we should have a burning zeal for developing our resources second thing is to gather knowledge resources so that the zeal can be activated or translated into a personified form third is to qualify a person's knowledge by means of 
identifying all the essential subcomponents which are required for framing a methodological machinery in the society. Fourth thing is to start the action. Fifth thing is to have a vigilant, meticulous care for the security, prosperity, maintenance and sustenance for the company, for the organization which is known as managerial component. These are the five major ingredients that requires a person's continuous engagement or activities that are made for, maintained for the boosting of his own resources in the society. In this order, I want to say that all people, they are not having equivalent proportionate adjustment or equivalent proportional placement in getting all the components within them. A person's desire proportion may be more rather than the knowledge. And knowledgeable people, that desire inside the business efficacy may be lesser. A person with the knowledge and burning desire may not be very much available with the subcomponential availabilities and missionaries that are there in the society. Persons who are having everything, they are waiting for some action due to sluggishness, due to lack of proper, what we call organizational courage, like ethical courage and moral courage. There is a courage which is known as trade courage. Anybody should have a commercial courage to put their money. Anybody can play with somebody's money or anybody can play with either. But while putting one's own investment, not a share of investment, but putting everything whatever he is having in the form of bones and bricks to be translated completely into the blocks of the physical molding or foundation that he is going to like to do to form a business that requires a very great courage. And the fifth thing is anybody in action, they don't have the capability to sustain the business. For that, they have created a mutuality of understanding and action between various people so that they are sharing the resources. So, the world is in now such a position that as you are not having everything, for example, somebody has the rice, somebody has the doll, somebody has the cooking fire, somebody has the serving plate and somebody is possessing all the money resources to purchase all of these ingredients unless these people don't quarrel within themselves and mutually come together for a common platform. They cannot create a validated, a substantialized form of organizational efficacy. And this type of engagement by which a person is continuously, tirelessly making effort for developing himself is known as business. The quality that makes a person ever engaged in a process of productivity is known as business. A person who is always busy and the capability of his nature of being busy in a productive engagement is known as business. Likewise, you know that industrious is the quality of a person who is doing a very great hard work with all confidential structures. That is why it is known as an industry where the industrious persons are there, where the four major pillars of industrial success, financial resources, manpower resources, intelligent resources, scientific or technological support are the four pillars of industrial establishment. That is why it is known as industry, that is why it is known as business. So we should be continuously, untiringly, sleeplessly, totally hyper vigilantly we engage in the process of making ourselves, withstanding ourselves, substantializing our resources for perennial success. So this uh, type of science has developed in recent eras, you know that whenever people they started business, they used to start business and learn through experiences, learn through traditional resources from father and other people. Learn through the methodological way of pedagogy, business pedagogy was there. Artha Shastra we used to call it in Sanskrit, by means of which limited exposure towards uh, the ancient uh, scriptures, as well as the inscriptions are being read by people. Now, the science has developed, technology has developed, population has developed, multi-dimensional utility needs and emergencies have developed in the society, so that problems, dangers, insecurities, confusions, conflicts, erasures, frictions, mutualities, dropouts, fall downs, diminishings, downfalls, all evil natures as well as the positivities, they have also contrarily and parallelly developed in the society. So to create security, to ensure more prosperity, understanding of the emerging trend, trend analysis, market analysis, product analysis, advertisement psychology, mass psychology, trend mass psychology, application psychology, craze marketing, hypnotic marketing, then individual marketing, counseling marketing, group marketing, Team marketing, marketing by means of understanding the fancy visualization of people, emergency marketing, scarcity marketing, product stocking, innumerable sciences that have evolved in the society due to which a basic understanding of the emerging business levels, they are necessarily to be studied in a research basis. So business has become a science, no doubt a non-predictable science, unreliable science, ever-changing science, very much hypothetical in nature and the probability and proportionality ratio is very very less when compared to the other 
physical, natural physical policies as well as the empirical sciences. So business now has evolved as a science. Marketing management, independent marketing management, entry marketing management, productive management, stockage and distribution, export and import special licensing, taxation, specialization, international trade, foreign relations in trade, international fund management, banking administration, offshore management, so innumerable such resources have come and created innumerable disciplines in the study of business structure, like Harvard Institute of Business Studies, Massachusetts Institute of Business Studies, Phoenix Institute of Advanced Business Management, Minnesota University Department of Business Administration and High End Business Studies, International Foreign Business Studies in the University of Pennsylvania, innumerable universities that have created doctorate, post-doctorate, specialization, special training, mutual training, intensive training, workshop and advanced learning in various systems of business due to advancement of this business spokes, spokes or ropes and throbes. All of the various dimensions of business they have created more opportunities to dwell. But when sincerely speaking, when the opportunities and disciplines and dimensions of divisions of business are taken into account, the hopes of the society, proper hopes for each and everybody to withstand the society, whether proper training is being given, proper opportunities are being made, whether the made opportunities are standard or not, all of these things are put into very great turmoil, tension, threat and torture. So simultaneously governing all of these things, lot of things are there being given in your books. You can get lot of things through journals and various other workshops conducted by various eminent people addressed by various stalwarts in business and wealth making technologies. But still I want to say something which is special, salient and separate from what you are reading in your book and that frames the basic medulla oblongata of whatever you are going to read in your books and going to very pitiably and bitterly going to face in your environmental exposure in academic, professional and social extensions. Whenever we are exposed to the society, it is not so joyous, so jubilant as we are enjoying something inside the books or seeing in PowerPoint presentations or reading within a group of like-minded people. We are going to face a society which is full of contradictions, <coughs> adversities. So, how to reap money and how to harvest money, how to place money, how to sleep with money on the pillow on the bed is very easy to read. But how to safeguard that money, how to be not a mute spectator when the same thing by means of opportunity or opportunistic wealth is grabbed from you from environmental resources, fraudulences and fallacies. How you are going to tackle the society, these things, this type of your physical courage, this type of your moral way of substantial fortification of not only your wealth but also your milk manufacturing unit. Even if your wealth can fade away, it can disappear from you, it can be debilitated and dismantled, but the hope of wealth manufacturing unit or the physical machinery inside you befitted, making you to be a perennial hope finder and hope finder for establishing yourself in the universe that should not be faded, that should not vanish at all. And that takes a special type of training and teaching, which unfortunately is not available in most of the textbook that is learned by people when they are exposed to time at the age of 50s and 60s at the time of which it will be too late for them to relearn everything or to de-learn what they have already learnt. It is a, such a very crucial occasion wherein by that is just like a person who is blinded to get into Surya Namaskara or Sun Worship at the time where it could not be revocable at all. So I want to just put in the limited time frame of the things specially that are there available visas. <coughs> you know that business technology that has innumerable divisions and modern universities and various other research institutes have already told they are in pursuit of lot of expansions. And coming to intelligence, what is intelligence? What is mere business management? Business management, we cannot say that it is devoid of intelligence and we cannot say that business intelligence is totally devoid of somebody else's question. If there is business management, then what is BI? Business intelligence. And do you want to say that uh, there is business intelligence and business idiocy? There is no such classification like that. Everything is framed of intelligence, but you see, whenever a person is managing, the management is more concerned with the trend, the product, the interpersonal and cross-personal relations that are there within the organizational team. That is more with understanding the potential of the person and making a proper supervision of their sincere execution of their capabilities and dexterities. It is more personal than technical. So, the business intelligence deals with management, but more with technical intelligence. Business management, no doubt, that has technical facilities, but more with personal relations and organizational teaming and grouping. Now, science has expanded, 
and the cyberspace they have they have expanded the cyberspace by which the data mining processing everything is conducted in cyberspace so unless apart from mere managerial relation of subordinate relationship superordinate relationship coordinate relationship knowledge transfer mutual information sharing hierarchy and delegation of proper work and sharing all of these things are managerial now due to the advent of modern technology especially the knowledge process outsourcing kpo units more than that of the traditional conventional units they have understood that mere managerial skills or business management is totally important to govern the present syllabus so due to it they have invented a new syllabus of intelligence which has apart from personal relations understanding of techno personal personal come technical techno techno and interpersonal relations are the four pillars of the modern intelligence between person and person between person and technology impact of technology and person and vice versa technology to technology transfer this has created business intelligence so it starts with reporting business intelligence starts with reporting what you have understood what you have identified what you are processing you have to make a clarity on it the clarity should be in drafting or a conceptual alignment inside your mind which you have to present which is known as drafting so business intelligence is explained by the modern scientists or business technocrats as a science that deals with number 1 skills of the person number 2 application of the same skills technology that is available and practice of the technology so the skills processing of the skills technology their adaptation application as well as the practices these five components they form business intelligence what is your resources how you are going to bring it in practice what is technology what is application how to mingle both of them in a collateral way as a rail platform or as a railway parallelism to make a collaborative and collateral movement of both the things to form the business success it is known as business intelligence now business intelligence means you should have five major types of knowledge number one is you should understand what is the source it is known as historical study of business second thing is presidential study you have to study about two things what is considering similar institutions on similar grounds based on success studies similar institutions on failure studies likewise sophisticated institutions simple institutions growth level abundance level achievement level target level various levels of various types of business on various exposures of environments there should be clearly done now there are innumerable softwares available for that you need not go for your data collection processing mining visuality sharing tabulation categorization these things are totally unnecessary we are having softwares like bispan etc they have made a uh, textual software of all of these presidential studies which we can tailor it as per the concept of environment or the business environment which we are experiencing in our business scale that we can utilize that so it is understanding of historical events it is understanding of procedural events it is understanding for current affairs what is the political influence economic influence social influence industrial relations product demand and scarcity cultivation export and import policy variations all these things are coming under current studies apart from that competitive studies who is against you who is with you who is away from you who is along with you behind you beyond you around you all of these various people are different level of urges of your competition you have to read about the competitive studies also then there is a good science in business it is not like astrological prediction but there is a prediction how the prediction is made when you understand precedences when you apply the same thing to the current affairs you can create prediction table with approximacy of 60% to 90% with accuracy rate of 10% that is accuracy rate 60 to 90% we can apply at approximacy this is known as prediction science so business intelligence business management that gives you like weather forecasting it may rain or not have you heard weather forecasting it may rain or not it may be today or tomorrow it may be rain or mere snow or it may fall on you or your neighbor these things are weather forecasting so it has more probability that should be see they are not god or they are not nature they cannot say anything clearly but probability should be more than 60% if it is may or may not more we cannot come anything like that so mere business management has more probability than assurance business intelligence augments the probability rate from 60% to 90% of approximacy when you understand technology when you understand the prediction science as per the theories that we are learning from the other competitive exposures collaborative exposures different things distance things limited things limited things various exposures with companies by use of software you can take also your project and on your own area and your own arena and province you can make a report and understand how predictive thing is there so now all of the management institutes they have to contemplate now you know that 
DME that is Diploma in Mechanical Engineering before the advent of engineering colleges in 1550s and 60s, noble doctors are there. First, doctors are very great in profession and everybody preferred academic, professional, matrimonial preferences are made for doctors. Then for DME engineers, then for BE people. Then BE people, they have become now MS. Now MS has not been properly satiated. Even MS people, they are just, MS is just like uh, the initials uh, Subhulakshmi and it has no value at all. They don't have any people, they are having substandard professions. You know that most of the people having done this MS, they are doing such a job which is done by BCom and NCOM graduates in most of the BPO and other units. You have seen a lot of people, isn't it so? So likewise, business intelligence is now the trend. When business intelligence shoots in the society, when it gets a major prick in the academic level of higher standard of the wealth, all the business management school, they will necessarily close themselves or open the doors for intelligence. So it is the trend of the society and no doubt the intelligence, it need not be a new syllabus. By means of our own intuitive guidance, by means of our own external resources, we can develop the same intelligence with the present management so that we can be befittingly suitable for the emerging trend of business stagnation which exists now due to recession at all. So historical study, contemporary study, competitive study, presidential study and futuristic or predictive study is very much important in understanding what it is known as business. What are the 10 components of business intelligence? First is reporting. I have already told clarity in drafting and reporting whatever that is there. It should not be a beneficial report. It need not be a beneficial report. Exact report. How can we expect a favorable report in our health reports? How can we expect any favor or anything like dairy milk or high star in our medical reports? It may be bitter, but it is better to know that bitter before so that we can make ourselves better. It is a proper way of diagnostic understanding to correct ourselves. Likewise, reporting. Second is data. Data warehousing is there, mining is there, collection is there, processing is there, transformation is there, transmission is there, individuality is there, categorization is there, data security is there, data compression is there, data suppression is there, data prolongation is there, data cryptology is there, innumerable things are coming in data. That is the second thing. And third thing is now recently it has come, OLAP, that is online analytical processing, that is a new trend of this year and any person in business management without knowing online analytical processing will be totally a zero, he will be such a person who is driving in bullet car from Mumbai to Delhi, that person cannot be adapted with the technical appraising of the present society at all, uh, it is online analytical processing, then there is sales, then there is marketing, marketing is understanding of corporate placement, priority placement, prime placement, and primitive placement and primordial placement will be totally thrown away. So more than what you have and more than what you can do, more than everything else which is reality, the surreal presentability of what you can present that rules the modern society. They believe that if any senior artist brushes their teeth with the paste and sees them shining with the tooth, immediately they feel that the similar experience, even Arbit we have seen buffalo smiling with more pleasant smile than the actresses. <laughs> so advertisement, marketing has something more than quality. It is not quality. It is placing the quality on your prime time to touch the consciences as well as the conscious level of the society. Understanding the mass psychology, the mass need, already existing competitors in the society, proper placement at the right time in a very very attractive dimension. You see each and every knowledgeable person has some foolishness inside. It is the duty of marketing technology to appraise the foolishness and make the intelligent people to behave like fools and get them hypnotized to purchase a product then later may realize or not. So it is understanding of the same product. Expect on, uh, expect on various grounds wherein by a person who is intelligent who believes everything that is idiotically framed to be real and to be realistic even more in nature to purchase the product. That is marketing. Apart from which uh, now recently they have developed a new technology in business management. It is known as business processing management. BPM. There are two types of business. One is a business strategic management. Second is a business processing management. What is processing management? When we lose people working with us, what are the alternatives? When we lose these orders, how to process with alternative orders or how to close the company with minimum loss or any other transfer possibility of any other subordinate business or uh, collateral business or simple business which is very much similar to that all. It may be homogeneous, it may be heterogeneous in nature, it may be totally paragenesis or uh, xenogenesis in nature. We can start a business of the same kind, it is known as homogeneous. We can start a division of the same business that is heterogeneous. For example, in academic industry, a person started at uh, Katak, a very big medical college. He got very poor admissions. For that phrase, 
for that type of very great infrastructure in which he has invested more than crores of rupees, two or three crores of rupees, he could not get proper admission at all. Therein by he created 100 diploma courses for one month, two months, three months, six months, etc. Embroidery, house making, then husband vigilance, then wife management, the child health. I don't know how many new things that he has invented. Like these similar things are the interior decoration. Whatever that has been taught by your inner conscience, by your parents, that which is learned by tradition, now they have started a course. Each and everything, now there is a course, a diploma. Huh? Later on, each and everything you will have a diploma. It is the trend of the future world. So by that, he minted twice the amount of money which he could possibly receive through medical college enrollments and medical college conductions. So such is the thing, it's known as alternative management and survival technology and substitution methodology. So these things are come under the business intelligence where we have to read them very properly. It is known as business processing management, which is a new course apart from the business strategic management which we are having now, which is mobile in nature. This thing is like a tortoise and this thing is like a rabbit. And no doubt if the rabbit is sleeping and the tortoise is vigilant, the tortoise has won the, won the race, you know that. So this processing management is also equally important. Then there is budgeting, then there is forecasting of already told like weather forecasting, wealth forecasting and wealth environmental forecasting or business predictional science, it is also a part. Apart from that, there is financial reporting. There are three reporting. One is information reporting. Second thing is management reporting to the concerned sources for action. Third thing is financial reporting, which is essentially something different. And based on this analytical processing, there are four things which you will read when you are going for a doctorate or in other um, postdoctorate levels or even in your masters you may read when you are going for analytical processing there is navigational system hierarchical system is there relational system and hybrid systems are there i don't want to go deep dwelling inside that as things are very technical and very much mind blogging it is an intellectual migraine which i don't want to supply to you now and the second thing is the hexagonal study and pentagonal study of business intelligence which i want to put in few words number one is you might have heard of thomas davenport Thomas Davenport is a very great pioneer of business intelligence. He has told business intelligence can be maintained by means of query. First of all, you should collect information. Now I see a lot of people getting into business without collection of information at all. I used to be a lot of people who are bubbling with a lot of explosive intention to do business. If I don't tie them with a chair, the next moment they will be starting a business. Such a people, I have seen a lot of people with bubbling emotions. I used to ask, what are the data collected? You know that my nephew is doing, my niece is doing, if he can do, I can't do. It is not a competitive issue, it is not an imitative issue, it is not a coercive issue. My father is a businessman, he wants me to do business, tomorrow I should start, which is the good day. So apart from good day, if the person is not having a good environment and good intention and capability, that good day will be no more distinguishable than a biscuit, which is a good day. <laughs> so this type of emotional, this type of emotional people, Without collecting information, if you are going to do something, what you are having in hand, how much you require, three things. What is required for your business, how much you have, how long you have to master yourself to gain that. Otherwise, can you maintain team management? If you want 90 units of intelligence to activate the business, if you are having only 30, to develop 60 more, you should spend 5 years or you should select 2 or 3 people who can supplement or share that 60 units of knowledge who are also reasonably ethical and amicable to you to do the business. That is also very much essential. You cannot do business with uh, only for the reason that he has money. You cannot do business with Dawood Ibrahim. That should be some ethical balance. That should be some amicability and mutual understanding between the business people. Isn't it so? So, it understands query. Number 2 is the same reporting. Third thing I have already told online analytical processing. Fourth thing is alert motion. Nobody is having alert motion. See, somebody asked me, you say that sometimes we have to refrain from business because the time is bad. You say that you have to do business courageously, then only you get money. Is business courage or fear? Then I answered, it is not courage or fear. It is neither courage nor fear, but that type of vigilance or prudence by which you, which you, will, you will apply that courage and fear whenever wherever it is needed to the respective dosage. Application of courage means you should not be, you should not jump from the 15th floor as your father-in-law is a very great, a renowned, uh, great orthopedic surgeon or something else. <laughs> <laughs> Only with the courage that he can uh, just join any disjoints of your bone, you should not have the impudence to jump from the 15th floor. It is not like that. 
so courage and fear wherever you should limit yourself wherever you should expand yourself wherever you should wait and wherever immediately you should proceed these instincts are driven by means of a proper intuitive guidance and intelligent guidance that is known as proper business so online analytical processing with alert motion and business analytics as per the great uh, theoretician who is the thomas i have already told about him he is a very great business intelligent analyst and this thomas davenport he has created a very great ideological principle for entering into business intelligence then i want to just mention a hexagonal model of the same thing one is i have already told about reporting second thing is thing is analysis and third thing is data in analysis and data processing there are few rules what is scalability second is usability third thing is availability fourth thing is manageability and fifth thing is customization you cannot do something which you have done for that for example if there is a child which is just uh, suffocating inside a water pond you can throw it out to save it but you cannot do the same thing for a fish so it is contextual understanding it is principle understanding it is a uh, the structural and functional understanding of a mechanism and customizing to us see america you cannot do the same thing like that see tata and billa you cannot do something like that so they are having their own existing resources environmental resources and their courage and their exhibition mechanism is different from that of ours unless you are simple similar identical and so what conducive or so what be a good conductor to adapt the same thing you cannot blindly imitate or follow anything this type of hasty generalization and blind imitation is a death bell to the business intelligence or the business proposal at all so what you want to understand is something that is entirely different from what it is it should be brought into customization this is there in analysis customization is a very good principle and elp you are going to read it later elp is maintenance of cross foundation sourcing and cross platform resources with efficacy or effectivity along with productivity studies then is cost studies what is the internal development cost what is the external development cost like hardware cost software costing training costing maintenance and management of sustainability costing these are the cost mechanisms what is the benefit benefit is of five types one what is the benefit to the customer or the client second what is the benefit that we receive in the form of cost that is price third thing what is the time restriction or the time minimization of saving by which we can get as a benefit what is that type of benefit that we can get by maintaining proper employer employee and mutual employee relations if all customers are satisfied and if all employees are dissatisfied it will not be a successful organization that is also there so customer satisfaction employee satisfaction and integrity and maintenance of everything in a proper balanced predictive methodology along with maintenance of time as well as profit as well as energy and risk to get all benefits somebody told that they have invested 1 lakh and they are getting 1000 rupees per month no doubt it is safe but it is not developing if somebody has invested the same thing in business business does not only invest money at all money time energy and risk so they have to get four times what they can get from any bank if you are afraid of your own energy or if you are afraid of the circumstantial favor we can go for a bank but for a promotive investment it should not only pay for mere money if it pays for the mere money it is mediocre business if it pays for not only the money apart from which you can get also for your energy risk and other involvement exercises that is a superior business if you don't even get for the money that you invested that is an inferior business without which you should just take rest or you can be just in some other tourism or pilgrimage you can just spend your life without doing the business at all this is known as customization elp cost management and then benefit assurance and there is one more skill in this ideology that is business intelligence which is known as solution mapping you are going to read or you must have read a glimpse out of it the solution mapping is to take the problem it is known as problematic studies take a problem and just disintegrate the problematic uh, hierarchy into various impact on various levels for example the recession's impact in various people is different from each other the same impact cannot be from all other people for example there are a lot of innumerable things one is recession second is us led economy third thing is offshore investment problems fourth thing is fall of it empire due to this recession and other things various things etc then recently dubai economy collapsed the impact of dubai economy is collapse and its uh, fallacious mortgaging and loan downfall is read with indian economy and its impact so whenever your person see if your person is not having hair at all what is the problem of what is the rate of problem of dandruff for the person <laughs> so the rate of influence direct influence indirect influence immediate influence remote influence 
considerable influence, negligible influence, or frame or infinitesimal influence is all the various influential studies of various these things. As a citizen, no doubt we are having not immediate, gradually we will be getting the burden of our land, its investment variations, foreign direct investment variations, its own burdens and recessional impact, no doubt we do. Business intelligence deals with the proper study of all problems and their impact on various people in the society. Common people, business oriented people, business icons, industries, national policy and national policy affects its expenditure on general health, social development, infrastructure development, education, health maintenance, everything will be collapsed in the society. So this is known as solution mapping for an organization, for a nation. So every organization has three things. It is a contribution of personal enrichment <coughs> to the organization. It is a contribution of the organizational enrichment towards the whole field. And it is a field investment for the nation and national investment for the global. It is known as the hierarchy in the ascending order for each and everything. Likewise, impact will be in the descending order, global impact on nation, nation impact on fielding, field impact on your organization, and organization's impact on you that you are sent to home to take rest till the next announcement, the announcement is to be heard from somebody else. So it is what we call the hierarchy in the descending and descending order. Solution mapping is the only way for understanding all of these things. Gartner's report of 2009 is a very famous report on business intelligence. He has clearly told in the year of 2010, that is the forthcoming year, most of the companies are going to struggle because of lack of business intelligence unit due to which they don't have any insight at all. If there is no insight at all, we cannot do two things. Which are all the opportunities which are going to promote us? Which are all the immediate impacting dangers which are going to collapse us? If a person cannot have any possible way of insight, he cannot understand the approximate danger as well as approximate development and this insight will be lost to more or less that 70 to 75 percent of the companies of 2010, they are going to lose that insight because of lack of business intelligence, number one. And number two, 40 percent of the business intelligence units instead of being developed by academic institutions like IMRD etc., it will be developed by the business concerns and business groups. In the year 2010, all business groups like Ambani's, like Triplani's, like uh, Tata, like Birla, like Mittal, all people in various industries like textile, cement, paper, jewelry, then various other investment exercises, bonding, banking, everybody they are going to start their own intelligence unit before the academicians are going to start intelligence. Because the immediate loss is to the business units, not to the academic units. Because they are going to start that 2010, 40% of the business units required for the India will be started by the same business units within themselves. Like they are having the generator campus, like they are having a, a campus, a canteen campus, they are having a campus for discussion and meeting and teleconferencing. They will have also a business research intelligence unit which is incorporated within their own business venture at all. The third thing what he has predicted is in the year 2012, 20% of the people, they are going to use software as services, SAS. They are going to use 20% of the people, they are going to develop SaaS, software as services, for getting into business intelligence. Fourth thing, a new software is going to come. It is software that is connected with the social emergence. It is known as a sociological software with business intelligence, which is going to launch a new field in business intelligence known as collaborative decision making. You cannot live like people in isolated islands. So you have to live with others, whether you love it or not, you have to bite your teeth, you have to roll your eyes and you have to tolerate and adjust with others and you have to coexist in the world because it is a nature. Whether you are going to get an ethical transformation or not, at least for sharing the benefits, the society should reach a collective distribution or collective functioning mechanism. So a collaborative decision making software will be developed with a social sensible or socio-sensual software along with business intelligence unit by which collaboration from various people, various countries, various fields for interdisciplinary development can be developed in the future. And finally, what Gartner's report it has told is a new area of business intelligence will be incorporated in each and everybody's professional paraphernalia with which the person will not enter into the job at all. It is the Gartner's report of this year. This year, July, the report was given and unless you are going to cope up with that particular thing, it is very difficult. And coming to the real sense of what we call business, somebody asked me, can we do business as a charity? Then I told them, there is a possibility of business as a charity and charity as a business. 
charity that we are doing to people that is also a business because whenever you do something as a charity you expect that god will forgive your sins or you will expand your resources in future so charity has also a business motivation inside second thing even if you do business business can also possess charity that is prompt time prompt product delivery with the precise quality that has been assured is just with a charity if you don't cheat the public that is a very big charity in business that's what i told you in business management can charity be accommodated yes provided that you are knowledgeable in your business that you are sincere and honest in your efforts you make the precise product and make the prompt delivery that itself is a very great and eh? laudable and condemnable type of charity which equals construction and consecration of 10 temples at least so it is a very great charity at all and nowadays you should understand both things role of technology in business and business technology in technology how is it if there is a technology or a techno product how to market that how to make the product reach that is known as technology with business whenever you are doing business to implement technology like mass productivity mass distribution advertisement priority placing etc you have to understand the cyber space the web transfer online purchasing then online transmissions e business structures e credit structures everything so it is role of technology in business so now a person who is not having technology in business and vice versa he is handicapped he is totally handicapped either techno handicapped or trade handicapped to concern something with the business for a mass productivity and reach at all and somebody asked me what is the use of these lectures most of the informations about india or the global trade or recession is available on books journals and research publications but they cannot create motivation inside you and uh, it is the duty of a person just as a mother she organizes everything and conglomerates into a delicious food which is full of nutrition digestibility and taste towards you which makes it more palatable adaptable digestible and also producing such a salubrity and uh, extensibility in your cellular body for your effective functioning it is a duty of any person to integrate the knowledge particles to place it in order and give it with proper direction and immediate action oriented stimuli by which the person is already sleepy or slow or lack of steadfastness in their mind those people they can catch fire with the ignition of motivation so already you are reading innumerable things either out of compulsion or out of intention you may be knowing lot of things but still the motivation which is result oriented is very much to be associated now which can instigate lot of other existing hidden latent dimensions inside and there are innumerable systems of spirits inside you and motivation exercise is understanding of the scripts as well as the spirits for proper understanding script is given in the book script is inside you unless these two things are made into friction you cannot get anything else to talk so it is known as cognitive com conceptive spirit the conceptive spirit is inside the book but that is totally dependent on your involvement the cognitive spirit is inside you both of them should rub together and this friction will result in the blazing fire of action infallibly resulting action oriented action successful action perennial action vigilant and dynamic action is produced by this friction and such motivation exercises are going to amalgamate the knowledge that you already possess and see that it can motivate your spirit there are spontaneous spirits for example there are a lot of people who will be just sleeping like that but when there is a problem when there is a need immediately the mind will work out there are a lot of people in the society that is known as spontaneous spirit and slow spirit is a so person like a charcoal he must be drilled and instigated from the external sources and he will get that and a steady spirit is a person ever prepared for challenges it is very rare to see in the society stimulated spirit is a spirit lot of people in among the view may be having that stimulated spirit unless they have proper companionship good companions good students good teachers good books good business opportunities good business economics and environmental opportunities unless the persons are stimulated by some decoration or some radiation or any other thing that is coming from various sources the persons knowledge will not work out at all so motivation exercises should be conducted within the people if they are steady that steadiness will be installed if they are slow they will be accelerated if they are spontaneous that spontaneous presentation will be hyper vigorated deeply invigorated if they require some sort of stimuli then only they will recognize after this motivation instigation they will realize yes i was sleeping i have it i had it i have to see that it is visible
people with my eyes and hands, I will do for it. So these motivation exercises are very much useful for making the conceptive fire or the conceptive store inside your syllabus to rub with the cognitive spirit of your inner mind to produce a blazing spirit of knowledge realization for action. And coming to investment in the concluding session, investment uh, is done with lot of hope without minding their affordability, suitability, tolerability and adjustability. Whether I am suitable for the business or not, everybody is doing so you are doing. So whether profit comes, yes, I can put it in my safe. If loss comes, can I tolerate? Can I revive myself? So now, investment psychology is very, very, very bad and unworthy that it does not suit investment opportunity and security. There is a very great imbalance between investment security come opportunity with investment psychology. The present people, they are not properly trained with. There are innumerable types of investment in which direct investment is there where we work. That is known as involvement based, work based, supervision based, monitor based and surrender based. Whenever you are doing some business for commodity trade of somebody else, you have surrendered the money and praying God whether it comes or not. So it is known as surrender. So it may be your survival, it may be your abundance, it may be your life. Huh? Uh, that is what the Shastra says, it is Sarpa Dashta, Vrichika Dashta and Pipilika Dashta. For Tata and other people, even very big loss is like ant bite. For some people it will be a scorpion bite, some people it is a snake bite. So we should see, even in case of any intolerance, even in case of any unpredictable downfall, we should see that we should select the loss within the tolerable limits. That type of knowledge is not with the society at all. That type of thing is not available. So business intelligence has been researched. We are making, and a very great thing I wanted to inform here is, we are going to start a business intelligence concern here at Pune. We have been discussing for the past two years. It is going to be a very big research institution with international affiliation also, where we have customized, we have targeted the areas of research. You cannot do everything untargetedly. The first zone of business intelligence mapping is on iron ore, magnesium, appetite, bauxite, fuels and chemicals. The second area of research is food items like milk, tea, sugar cane, rice etc. and food processing units and even timber which are from the same vegetation resources. Third thing is from the electronics industry, from the construction industry like cement, glass etc. The third thing is telecommunication industry, fourth is transportation industry, fifth is pharmaceutical industry. Fourth thing is what we call GRT, gold, real estate and tourism. They are based on the mentality of the people and general social position and uh, solace. It is based on these three things. It is not a GRT industry. Fifth thing is, India is having a very wonderful knowledge slavery. The knowledge of the interesting somebody over India is developing. It is not so. India is being utilized or exploited by other people for that development. It is more that we have not uh, come here to discuss about the geopolitical conflict that exists in the society. But India has a very huge manpower. It can contribute to the development of nations like US, UK, Silicon Valley, especially of US, Australia, Canada, Japan. It can contribute to the development of <coughs> other nations due to which knowledge processing industries. <coughs> there is a fifth zone. First is the fuel, chemical, mineral zone. Second is the food, food, food related zone. Third thing is the electronic security services, service oriented, various other zones, transportation, construction, etc. Fourth thing is the GRT the real estate, gold and tourism zone. Fifth thing is knowledge processing zone. These five zones, we are making a presentation how to target these zones and make specifically customized business intelligence units. How you have to make that? Now the society is fast food society, somebody told. It is a fast food society and the other dimension of the society is fast wealth society. Immediately they want money. They are ready to lose anything. They are ready to do anything provided that they get money immediately. It is known as fast wealth economy or fast wealth society which is very dangerous at all. And people they are going into two insecurities. One is absolute insecurity. Second is ambiguous insecurity. Ambiguous insecurity in business investment is it is based on bonds, shares, commodities, debentures, directives, various other things that exist in the society They're like mutual bonds, surety bonds, safety measures, everything is there. And even that, that there are a lot of divisions in which the risk is already given. In spite of that they are taking risk. In spite of that they are taking risk even though the risk policy says that the risk is more than 30 or 40 percent still you go into that. So that is certificated security measures, non-certificated security measures, global security measures. And they are also having partial security measures, they are having fungible security measures, non-fungible security measures, divided security measures, non-divided security measures, innumerable security measures are there. They are ambiguous. Mutual bonds, you should have read the risk policies of the mutual bonds whenever you are going. 
These things are tolerable because they are part and parcel of the global functioning where we can predict up to an extent. And one more thing is offshore investment. When the Swiss bank started its very great meritorious unit at Chennai, lot of bank people without understanding or without calculating how the fellow can give the same amount in four months and continuously they can shower the amount till you like or till the person is alive to give. Offshore investment was started, now also it is being clandestinely functioning in various websites and various units. People, those who are driven by, there are three driving units of people. One is desire drive, second is depression drive, third thing is dilemma drive. Desire drive means somehow I have to get money. Second thing is depression drive, no, no, there is no way that I can work and earn money. Only if I can get money, it should be God given and it should jump from heaven. So the only possibility is offshore investment. So these people, they go on depression drive. Third thing is dilemma. If somebody says that, yeah, just know I am receiving the money, just know I have deposited.